Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about what makes Minecraft a really good game. And I think this is a discussion that we need to have a little bit more. I never find videos on what makes games so good, which is, I mean, what? Dang them. At least the ones that are slightly unbiased. So, Minecraft. We all know what Minecraft is. It's our favorite block-based creative game, but what made it so good. And I think this is a discussion worth having. So this is going to be based on a lot of personal experience, okay? Why it was fun to me, why I played it a lot when I did play it. And I think it comes down to, first of all, it is built to have addicting gameplay, right? Simple controls, hard to master. Very simple. That is how an addicting game works, okay? But I think it does it in a fair way. It just, it has very clear-cut rules, and it doesn't deviate from the rules at all. It doesn't, it's not like, oh, this block's an exception to the rule of blocks. No, it freaking stays inside of its rule set, okay? Now, what it is, is it's a, it's a very accessible game, okay? Now, this part of the success of Minecraft is very successful, and it allows, the amount of creativity it allows is insane, I watched a video one time on Minecraft, and I wish I knew what it was, but it talked about open world games, and what is the most open world game on the market? It's Minecraft, because in Minecraft, there's no quest, no story, no nothing, okay? The only reason you get iron is the reason that you decide to get iron, right? All right? Now, a lot of it allows you to, the game allows you to build stuff, right? When I played Minecraft back when I first got it, I tried to make biodomes. I tried to make big domes of glass, right? Because I knew how to make glass. Now when I play Minecraft, we build these intricate houses with all these cool stuff, and I, I get the rare blocks, and I like to use the rare blocks. It's very simple. What made it so good for me was, I think, the fact that, you know, it did last a long time, but the adventure really was chosen by you, and it helped make some good friendships with me. And also helped ruin some friendships, too. I'm not going to lie. I had a friend a long, long time ago, not Ragnar. Ragnar's name's Austin, but a different Austin, who really got butt hurt over Minecraft and is not my friend anymore. And then there's other friends like Connor, who I don't really talk to Connor anymore, but back in the day, Connor and I were buddies. We loved Minecraft, and we really developed an even stronger friendship over Minecraft. Um, my friend Sid, I don't talk to Sid anymore, but it's probably because it's over Minecraft. I'm not going to lie. A lot of people over Minecraft. Sid, it was over Black Ops 3, but probably over Minecraft at some point. Right? So, Minecraft allows you to do whatever you want to do, right? And I think it does so to a level that no other games allow you to do it, right? If you want to separate yourselves and live on your own or work together, either way, Minecraft allows you to do it right? If you want to play on Xbox, you can play it on Xbox. If you want to play on PC, you want to play on PC. Very simple. Now, another thing that I think it does is it really fostered the community in a way that I think a Bethesda games tried to do, but Minecraft really did better, right? The modding community. I mean, Minecraft literally based most of its updates on mods, right? Yeah, it had bug fixes and all that stuff, but it really kind of based itself off of mods, and it really shined when it came to modding the game. I mean, it's really easy to mod the game, right? I mean, think of adding new blocks. What does it take to add a new block? You've got to set up the crafting recipe and use the pixels to craft up the block skin. Very simple. Minecraft, I think, was also a game that... The reason why it was so good was because you could talk about it to really anyone and they know what you were talking about. You could talk about your adventures, how big your houses were how big your base is, where you call a base a house. Like, literally, you could, if someone was talking about a base and a house, it was the same thing. So it broke language, like, game language barriers, right? I mean, some place, some video games, you have a base and houses within the base. Minecraft, it just lets you define the game the way that you wanted to do it. Again, a lot of this is based on open world stuff, but... I mean, if you said, I had a base and then I had a house, someone could ask, what is a base, what is a house? You would explain in your world, in your terms, what a base and a house was. And for them, if they said, I had a fort, well, what's a fort? My fort is the place that I live. 
and it's just built on top of a sand hill and it's a castle, right? So Minecraft allowed you to set up your own rules, but also explain them in very easy ways to other people, right? Minecraft is very easy to explain to someone. And it's just, it's magical the way that it does it. And I think that's part of it. I think part of Minecraft and why it's so good is it executed itself perfectly. The way that it's a game, perfect. The way that it really does stuff is perfect for a video game. That's what it is. It's just perfect for a video game. And I think that's the, really what it comes down to. Is Minecraft, why it's so good? Is it's freaking perfect. It's perfect. I mean, of course you can find it boring or fun, but like the way that it does stuff, it seems so well thought out that it takes a genius, it took a genius to make this game that really starts to shine. So I want you to give me your thoughts on Minecraft. Tell me what you've done in Minecraft. Go ahead and share all that in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.